Well, the drought just rolls on through eastern Australia. We did see some light to moderate rain overnight through the central west of New South Wales, but we need another 100 millimetres to make up for the deficits that have developed over the past few months. There's Dubbo. You can see the sheep. Well, there's not too much grass there for the sheep to eat, so they are hand-feeding much of the sheep and the cattle through southeastern Australia right now. And they were in western Australia. They've had some good rain, though, over the past week, uh, even through some of the farming areas through the wheat belt, for example. There's been up to 40 millimetres through the western wheat belt, lighter falls through the eastern wheat belt. Southwest corner, that darker green shows over 50 millimetres over the past week. Perth, for example, you've had just over 60 millimetres of rain over the past week. Some moderate falls for the ranges of Victoria. Bendigo's picked up over 20 millimetres of rain over the past week. But for the rest of the country, well, we're still waiting for some good falls. This is the rain we've picked up so far this month compared to the average for May as a percent. Now where you see that darker brown shade which covers most of Australia, there's been less than 20% of the average rain falling. So basically no significant rain for most of Australia, although totals have been close to average for parts of the far southern coastline, Tasmania, and now also that far southwest corner of WA. But the long wait continues elsewhere. And we'll have to continue waiting because we've got another high moving in, a blocking high, which will just dominate the weather through most of Australia over the next week. And again, this blocking high is blocking other weather systems from coming in and bringing rainfall. There will be a Tasman low bringing showers to the New South Wales coast through eastern parts of Victoria. There's not much in it and it's very coastal. Even if we do pick up, say, moderate falls in areas around, say, Port Stephens, for example, that's not really going to help farmers because it's far too coastal. In the west, though, front on Thursday bringing showers. And perhaps a stronger front coming through early next week with heavy rain ahead of it, indicated by the red and the black. Let's talk totals. This is how much we expect on Wednesday. Showers for southeastern Australia, about one to five millimetres for eastern New South Wales, similar in northern Victoria, slightly heavier, five to ten for some southern parts of Victoria. It's mostly later in the day and similar for western Tasmania, about five to ten millimetres. Those showers quickly clear up on Thursday. Thursday, a front for southwest WA, an average fall of one to ten millimetres. There will be some storms on the southwest capes, so localised heavier falls. Ahead of the front, some light patchy rain for the inland, less than ten millimetres, but heavier falls there through the eastern gold fields and parts of the interior on Friday. Not much help though in the middle of the desert, we need that rain a little bit further west or east, certainly on Saturday that rain really eases off, again we've got showers there for the east coast, there's not much in it, very coastal, similar on Sunday and again on Monday, but perhaps from about Tuesday next week we'll start to get some heavy rain along the west coast, it's early days, it's a long way out, there's a pretty good chance though we're going to get heavy falls right along that west coast of WA. Altogether over the next eight days, even the potential for over 50 millimetres at darker green, for the far western Pilbara, Gascoigne, and down towards the southwest corner of WA, and many farming areas of WA through the inland should see at least another 10 millimetres over the next week, but who knows how much we'll end up seeing. For eastern Australia, less than 5 millimetres of rain for most areas.